Hello, so I'm very pleased to be here, and I would like to present our current implementation of the satellite navigation receiver supporting GPS, GLONASS, and Galileo signals. And this receiver is based on a single core rocket chip without any additional co processors or ARM cores. <coughs> Um, but first of all, I would like to present ourselves. Here we represent uh, Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology, one of the most uh, famous universities of Russia, uh, and uh, using resources of our university and especially our laboratory. Uh, we're trying to build a company that provided customer service to integrate their IP into the SOC designs. So our laboratory help us in every way to achieve our quite ambitious goal. Mm -hmm. We are developing uh, navigation receivers and prototypes quite a long period of time. And for this period, we accumulated not only experience, but also some self-developed equipment. The first of all is an uh, RF mezzanine card that was actively used uh, during our IP development. And uh, in this year, we have produced samples of ASIC uh, based on Spark V8 architecture and ASIC validation board, I have samples uh, here. And also we published the uh, source code of our project based on single chip rocket core uh, and this Git repository. And I will tell you about this uh, project and on my next slides. So uh, any, uh, any navigation receiver uh, has, uh, should implement some kind of software. Uh, in our university, we developed a very flexible firmware that support plug-and-play functionality uh, and it can be run without any modification of code on different target, uh, as uh, example, RTL simulation, uh, ASIC itself, or FPGA prototypes of, of different boards. <clears throat> also, we've developed a um, host application named as GTERM. Uh, it, is, it is based on Qt libraries, uh, and it provide, provides graphical user interface, network services, and uh, it includes very uh, convenient tool for raw data analysis of our GNSS receiver, such as um, pseudo ranges, uh, Doppler frequencies, signal-to-noise rates, and some other. All information is available on our site. Uh, on this slide, uh, you can see the complexity of our ASIC and you can see that uh, more than half of the gate count is a GNSS-related functionality. Processor itself uh, with uh, memory management unit and caches takes less than 10% of full design. <clears throat> so now we are in transition state uh, and we are uh, trying to change uh, a lot of things in our next generation ASIC. And first of all, we would like to improve technology, uh, change uh, processor core from the Spark V8 Leon 3 processor on RISC V processor. Uh, and uh, uh, additional goal is to demonstrate portability of our IP, Genesis IP, uh, for our potential customers. <coughs> this slide uh, lists the requirements that we defined for our SOC implementation. And most important for us is modularity, because we would like to provide such design that allows to easily add or remove uh, devices to the system on chip. Uh, and source code should be portable. Uh, it, it means that it uh, should be run with minimal modification on different targets, FPGA, ASIC itself, on RTL simulation. And also we uh, use mainly VHDL language in our project. Uh, general idea is to use the all best ideas of the open source uh, GPL license JAR Leap that implements Spark uh, uh, Leon 3 processor. And we plan to add our experience and use uh, all, and uh, reuse all best ideas of this library. So this is a top uh, level functional scheme of our SOC implementation based on rocket chip. And uh, the project, source project is available in the repository. It is ready to use uh, project. You can download it, uh, build, uh, load into FPGA, and see output uh, in the UART port. Uh, it also includes uh, project files to build image constraint files, uh, Hello World application that initialize uh, internal uh, interrupt controller and UART 
and uh, this project also um, includes all general peripheries, such as, as I said, interrupt control, UART, and some other. Uh, the only Verilog implemented in this system on chip is the rocket tile itself. It is, it generates directly from the Scala source uh, with, and generated file uh, used without any modification. All other models uh, have our own VHDL implementation. And structure is very similar implemented in a Leon 3 processor. I would like to say about plug and play functionality. Uh, we uh, inherited main idea from the JARLIP. Uh, all modules that, that connected to our system bus XC4 uh, must implement sideband signals. Mm. These signals uh, include such uh, values as vendor ID, device ID, uh, memory map location, and memory ranges. So if you work with uh, JARLIP, I think uh, you will be very, si uh, you see a very similar a similar ideology of our project. Uh, so these sideband signals directly connected to the P PNP model in our system design. Uh, and this PNP model is the only device that have fixed memory location in a uh, system. Uh, our firmware uh, read this uh, read configuration from the, this PNP model and instantiate uh, allocate resources of the memory uh, accordingly with uh, defined hardware structure. So it all was to use the same firmware on RTL simulation and uh, ASIC design in, in ASIC implementation and FPGA prototypes. This is an example of output uh, from UR port and if you download our example and build the project, you will see something similar. Uh, our firmware detects all uh, uh, connected devices, so their location in, in memory and other. This uh, summarizing feature of our repository. <coughs> uh, and as I said, it, it uh, already includes constraint files and project and ready to use. You can just add your own device to this, um, to uh, XC4 system bus, uh, similar and similar way that it's already implemented for other device and build your own system with your own peripheries. Recently, we made some uh, performance analysis of two platforms uh, based on Spark, v, uh, on Spark V8 and RISC-V. And to do such comparison, we had to implement some modification to provide, one, to provide uh, access to the internal memory for one clock without wait states. Uh, without it, otherwise it will be not fair uh, for the RISC-V platform. Also, important feature of our boot procedure uh, is that it has a very similar uh, implementation on these two platforms, on Spark V8 and uh, RISC-V. And during this uh, boot procedure, processor makes copying of uh, firmware image from the internal ROM to the internal SRAM block. And this operation is made using standard libc method MIMCPI that was compiled with the same optimization flag. In our opinion, it is a, it is a, a good point to make comparison of uh, a throughput of uh, different platform. So in this table, we uh, try to show uh, gift results. And as you can see, a RISC-V platform works a bit slower than Spark V8. And literally uh, several days ago, we finished porting of our JNSS, uh, by JNSS uh, channel task and uh, um, we, we have the similar results that RISC-V works a bit slower uh, than a Spark V8 platform. But you should take into account that uh, Leon 3 processor have a long history. It was produced many, many times and it is actively used in aerospace industry. So it is a very good result, I think, for a new player, new, pl new processor. And it is uh, very acceptable for our implementation. <clears throat> the main reason why we not finished uh, porting of our firmware is that we haven't uh, convenient debugger. Uh, and actually, we uh, testing our firmware using RTL simulation. It took very long time. It is very inconvenient. And recently, we made uh, implement our own version of the debugger. And 
This is general feature that we defined for our debug, debugging tools. First of all, we decided not to use GDB as a standard and use new standard proposed by um, consortium of uh, companies, uh, MCD, uh, multi-core debug protocol. It, is access, it, is, it can be found on this site of Lauterbach, on Lauterbach site. And also we decided at first step use UDP transport instead of GTAC because we have a lot of tools developed already using this protocol and we think that we can uh, do it very fast. So this is, this is a common structure of our debugging uh, tools and generally it is split on three parts. The first one is a user application. Uh, at initially it will be our own application probably based on future libraries, but in the best case, it should be a lot of Bach itself. The second part is a host library that convert, converts MCD request into the binary uh, transport layer compatible with the GTAC protocol. And third one is a hardware itself or um, some kind of virtual platform. For example, my favorite Intel Cynics. I think it is the best virtual platform available in, uh, in the world. Uh, the only model that uh, haven't, uh, haven't implemented entirely in the, um, we haven't implemented model is a debug support unit, but we have clear vision how it should look like, how it should be connected to the rocket tile itself, and how it should uh, interact with the system bus. Uh, other part of the debugging to chain is a uh, master interface and uh, media access control with a uh, supporting EDSL, we are planning to use, we are planning, we are planning to reduce uh, such hardware from the Java Leap. Uh, EDSL is a, a dedicated sub module in the media access control that provide uh, that redirect access directly from uh, UDP uh, to the system bus and now to uh, use, use uh, Ethernet like simple debugger. So it is very, very cool thing, I think, that already implemented uh, in Jar Leap, and we planning to just port it, uh, planning to port it from the AHB interface to Axi4. Any question? You implemented the module for Intel Simix simulator? I have a lot of experience to implement such kind of things, and uh, I can do it very fast. Is that available to people to use? Sorry, sorry. Are you making the module available to other people to use within the Simix simulator? Actually, Simix is a commercial product. Mm. Right. Uh, but uh, I have uh, possibility to develop such 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 uh, model of a full system and uh, especially processor itself for Simix. I have such possibility to do such things.